Okay, here in the country I'm born in, we have our color code. We have black, which is live, red, which is live, white is neutral, and the bare ground is ground. And then uh, where you have 208, blue is another live conductor, which is not shown. So I'm going to show you how to put wires around the screw on an outlet. So I take my strippers, I strip off about an inch of the insulation, and red is usually used when it's a 220 circuit or when it's a split circuit. So we don't use this in a 120 volt outlet. This is a 120 volt outlet. We use a 14 on 15 amps, 12 on 20 amps. So I'll show you how to put the wires around the screws. You'll see a silver colored screw and a green screw. And on the other side, you'll see a brass screw. And it's the same with the uh, duplex receptacles. So what you do is you take your wire. You make a loop the direction that the uh, screw turns. You put it under the screw like that. I'm going to bring this one up just a little bit more. Then you take your pliers, close your loop so that the wire is almost hugging the inside of the screw head. And you can take your two fingers here and pull back on that wire so that all of the copper is under the head of the screw. In a real situation, I would snug that down tight, and that is what it should look like. Now the white goes on the silver screw, so I'll make a loop the direction that the screw turns and I'll show you why you don't put it around the screw counterclockwise when you're turning the screw when you put the wire around counterclockwise and you're turning the screw the screw is going clockwise and that will push this out and open the loop so you take and you put it around the screw clockwise Take your pliers, close your loop, and then you can use your two fingers here to pull back on the wire and tighten the loop. And then snug it down. And then your ground wire, if it's green, you strip the insulation and you do the same steps. Make the loop the direction that the screw turns like that. I'm making it a little bit bigger so you can see the direction and see everything. Come over with your pliers. Close your loop like that and hold it back like this. And it should look like that. Now here in the country I'm born in, uh, we use 120 volts for most of your appliances. And we have uh, 240, which would be for like your large air conditioner, your uh, electric dryer, your stove, your water heater. So this is a 120 volt single outlet. We use a 12 on 20 amps. 14 on 15 amps 
and you make your connections the same with both wire sizes. Thanks for watching.